I know you're angry. I know you feel that you've been mistreated. You probably have been in many ways. But this conflict that you are having with your child, who then has access to your grandchild, right, has to be let go of in order to really start moving towards opening up that door and a reconnection with them. Because when we come from anger and resentment, nothing good comes from that. It is a waste of our time and our energy. I know that you're disappointed. I know you had dreams that things would be different in terms of what is going on with your children and the relationship with you have. But this is where you are right now. The past is gone, right? As much as we want to go back and we want to do things differently or make different choices, we can't right now. And holding on to that bitterness and that resentment is not going to help you see what you can do now. And the best thing that you can do now, too, is change your mindset to think that I can have a different relationship with my children now. Listen to what I just said. I can have a different relationship with my children right now. And the difference is that this relationship going forward is not going to look like the past. It's going to look how it's going to become out of what has happened now. And it may go slow. And at first, you may just get a simple reaction back from them, or you might get a letter filled with hate. But you know what? A letter filled with hate is also information because it gives you ideas of what they are upset about. And when we know what somebody is upset about, we can take um, we can take time and we can use skills and change our language to reach out to them in different ways that can bring about change. But if we hold on to that resentment and that bitterness, we are not opening up our heart nor our mind to reconnecting with our children who have hurt us. Now, one of the things I see a lot in uh, individuals like yourself is that you're very defensive when it comes to talking about how your children have hurt you. I mean, not, yeah, how, how they feel you have hurt them and how you have a, a difficult time accepting what they have done to you without proving that you are right and they are wrong. And what begins there when you start focusing on who's right and who's wrong, you're moving into defensiveness. It's a natural thing to do when you feel someone is attacking you or is saying things to you that don't feel very good. But I'm here to tell you it's necessary to break through that defensiveness because if you don't, you're going to come off defensive to them and that's going to push you backwards, not forwards. They have their own feelings about what happened between you. You may not see it. You may have not done it, but that is their perception of what happened. You also have a perception of what happened, but they are your children. And whether you like it or not, they are not there to take care of your emotions and your needs. You as a parent were put on this earth to take care of their emotions and needs. And when you have conflict with your child, it will not be resolved by you trying to prove that you are right and they are wrong. 